Do you have a desire to move your existing applications to the cloud, but are unsure where to start? Which applications are suitable for migration? Where should I run them? How much effort will it take? If so, this video is for you. Hi, I'm Mike Coleman, a developer advocate at Google Cloud, and today I'd like to talk to you about how to assess and plan migrating and modernizing your existing applications running on either VMware or other public clouds onto Google Cloud Platform. One of the first steps when migrating to any cloud platform is to assess your existing inventory and then plan your migration strategy. This strategy may vary depending on the business criticality of the application or the complexity and the effort required to migrate or modernize the targeted workloads. In the end, you have a number of options when it comes to relocating existing apps, including rehosting, replatforming, or refactoring. But how can you make the right decision and apply the right strategy? In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can use Google Cloud's Fit Assessment Tool to help speed the planning of your application's cloud migration journey. Today, customers are facing a number of challenges when it comes to planning and executing the right strategy to migrate their existing VMs from their on-prem environment to the cloud. These challenges include, amongst other things, the lack of factual and accurate information on which VMs can be moved and which ones can be modernized and what is the required effort to do so. If companies do have any intelligence around these issues, it's oftentimes managed using ad hoc spreadsheets or discovery tools which were purpose-built to indiscriminately discover all your infrastructure and are lacking the know-how of what is required to successfully modernize existing VMs. When migrating to Google Cloud, you can leverage our Migration Fit Assessment Tool to guide you through your migration journey to have a clear understanding on which VMs are best suited for migration and which ones could benefit from further modernization. The assessment tool can be used to discover and collect the necessary information from your VMs and then assess the possible migration journeys for each of those VMs. Once the VMs have been assessed, you can generate two kinds of reports. A summary report, which gives you an executive summary and a high-level overview of how many VMs can be migrated to Google Cloud VMware Engine or Google Compute Engine, and how many VMs can be further modernized and refactored to run in containers. The second report is a complete report showing you all the rules that were assessed on each of the VMs and a prescriptive guidance on what needs to be done to make them applicable for each of the migration journeys. Now, let's take a look at the summary report and the immediate insights that it brings to you. Let's look at the first section of the report. This section gives you an executive summary of your current VM landscape, an aggregated view of the resources used, such as CPU, memory, and storage, and how your existing VMs map to GCP's VM offerings. It also shows you what percentage of your existing VMs can be migrated using a lift and shift strategy at a low effort cost, and what percentage are ripe for a higher value modernization effort, meaning containerizing and running on Kubernetes or serverless. This executive summary alone gives you the factual information that is needed to start planning how your migration strategy might look. Now, let's dive deeper into what these journeys mean. In this section of the report, you can see the lift and shift journeys and the top technical blockers for each of them. The two lift and shift journeys are migrating VMs to Google Compute Engine and migrating VMs to Google Cloud VMware Engine, or GCVE. GCVE is a Google Cloud managed service for running VMware on GCP. It's the simplest migration journey in terms of effort, but costs a bit more than simply running those workloads on Google Compute Engine. Now, let's jump into the next section of the report, the refactor to containers analysis. In the refactor to containers analysis section, you can see how many applications were discovered and their classification into the three kinds of supported containers, Linux, Tomcat, and IIS and how many of them are fit for containerization. Then, in the bottom section, you can see which target environments are applicable for the discovered applications once containerized. These target environments might be Anthos clusters, GKE standard mode clusters, GKE autopilot clusters, or Cloud Run. Let's move on to the next section in the report. In this section, you can see an overview of the on-prem modernization journeys. 
on-prem journeys include shifting a VM to an Anthos on bare metal cluster or attaching a VM to an Anthos on bare metal cluster. By attaching your existing VMs to the Anthos control plane, you can apply consistent security and policy, monitor the health and performance of your services, and manage traffic for both VMs and containers. Or alternatively, shift your VMs as is to run on Anthos VM runtime. Anthos VM Runtime uses Kubevert to orchestrate VMs on Anthos clusters, allowing you to work with your VM-based apps and workloads in a uniform development environment. This section gives you visibility into how many of your VMs will fit into each of these journeys, as well as the top blockers. From here, we can scroll down to the last part of the summary report. In this part, you can see a prescriptive guide for two modernization strategies. The first on the left shows what can be achieved in a shorter time frame and a low effort versus a high modernization and high value strategy on the right. To summarize what we've seen so far, the Fit Assessment Summary Report gives you a high-level overview of the different modernization strategies, which is based on actual data collected from your environment, which reduces uncertainties around planning your modernization journey. Now let's dive deeper into the full report and examine one of the VMs. Let's take a look at this VM, for example. If you expand to see more details, you can see how much effort will be required for each of the migration journeys. Now let's take a closer look at the Tomcat app container journey and see why a minimal effort is required to containerize it. The report shows you all the rules that were assessed for this journey, and if some effort is required, it gives you the actual steps that will have to be taken to remediate the issue. In the same manner, if you click on one of the no fit journeys, you can see why that VM is not fit for migration. With this full report, you can start planning the migration strategy for each of your VMs and have a recipe for the steps that will have to be taken, if needed, to migrate those VMs. Now let's talk a little bit about how you actually use the FIT assessment tool. The FIT assessment tool is comprised of a single binary, MFIT, and a couple of scripts. The MFIT binary is installed on any Linux workstation in your environment. The best way to think of the Linux workstation is that it acts like the assessment engine, gathering high-level information about your environment, as well as processing output from those scripts I just mentioned. It's important to note that MFIT doesn't require an internet connection and doesn't upload any of the information into Google Cloud. The actual FIT assessment is a three-step process. The first step is to run an inventory discovery of your VM landscape. This is done using the mfit discover vSphere command from the Linux workstation. This command can discover your entire vSphere environment or can be scoped to a folder, cluster, or data center. The second step is the collection step. In this step, you run the collection script, a bash script for Linux or a PowerShell script for Windows on the VM you would like to assess and then import the script's output and then import the data using the mfit discover import command. Then you get to the last step where you generate the reports. As mentioned previously, you can generate both a summary report and a full report using the command mfit report. These reports can be generated into HTML, JSON, and CSV formats, which you can either view locally on your browser or import into Google Cloud Console or use as an input to other systems in machine-readable formats. I hope this video showed you how Google Cloud's FIT assessment tool can help you assess and plan your cloud migration journey. For more detailed information, check out our documentation as well as other videos in our Migrate series. And don't forget to like and subscribe to be alerted whenever we publish new content.